What's going on, everyone? It is Ryan here, CEO and head quant here at happytrader.io. Wanted to do a video on the MES uh, year to date. We're going to look at a couple different time frames. We're also going to look beyond just the year to date. Now, the MES is the one tenth the size contract of the ES, which is going to be your E mini, which rep represents your futures contract for your E mini or you know standard large size they call it a mini but it is a large size contract on the s p 500 which is the index that most folks invest into through their iras and roths and and stuff like that so we're going to dig right in and you can see that for this back test we do have the strategy up uh we are going to be using our long only now for next week we are going to be switching over to see um some other strategies like you know trading the uptrend and then closing on the downtrend but then adding a contract like a new trade for the downtrend and we're going to do some back test and kind of see how that works in an up market environment a down market environment and also uh, macro speaking you know meaning many years many months uh, many weeks so that way we can appeal um, and show you that our product is good not just for day trading which is phenomenal for it's what it was developed for on the five minute chart uh, for any ticker repair crypto anything out there but th it also serves a great purpose to give you trading ideas for the 45 minute the one week you know the, the bigger charts where there's going to be significantly less trades per year per week per month whatever your trading interval is um, and that's what we're going to kind of dive into here using the MES, which is the micro one tenth the size contract. All right, and let's hop right into it. We are first going to look at the five minutes. So many of our traders and in fact, most of our traders are going to be looking for um, day trades. And you can see that if we remove the strategy, uh, you can see our uptrend signals. Uh, this is going to be a long only strategy, like I mentioned. So we're going to, going to be buying at the uptrend signal and then closing that buy signal or AI buy signal um, on the downtrend signal. So we're gonna go ahead and just, that's not what we wanna look at. We're gonna go ahead and just make sure it is superimposed properly. You can see that the buy AI does directly correlate dead center and our sell AI is going to be right there, right? So this is a long only strategy and now we're going to run a deep back test and see what we come up with. Okay, so let's pull up our trading window. We're going to go to deep back testing, and we are going to uh, deep back testing means that we're specifying our date range. We're going to make sure our parameters are correct. Now, for margin on the MES, so the micro one tenth size, um, typically brokers require between fifty, a hundred, five hundred dollars at the absolute most per contract. We're going to pad that a little bit with a thousand dollars of starting capital. Um, we're going to first do a back test with one contract, long only. We're not going to use any pyramiding orders, meaning stacking orders in the same direction. If we were, for instance, to get an uptrend signal, then another uptrend signal. Um, so we're not going to do any of that. We're just going to go ahead and do a thousand dollars small account. And we're going to do one single contract and hit OK. And we're going to make sure that our date range lines up. We're going to want to go to the 22nd to generate this back test. And let's pull that up. We can remove that. And here's our back test. So, as I mentioned in many other videos, the market itself, if you're just buying the SPY, the VTI, the VU, the VOO, any uh, van, the v, you know Vanguard total index funds, or you know just the SPY, some of the Spider uh, S and P 500 index funds, uh, they return between seven and 11 percent, generally speaking, year over year on average. So you can see that we've done pretty well upon first look, and that's great, right? So let's dive into this back test and figure out how just this year. We were able to basically make, you know, years of gains, essentially, right? So that's pretty cool, right? So let's go all the way over on the chart, and we're just going to stretch that sucker out. We're going to look at our percentage gain, 284%. Year to date, uh, we had 600 trades. So this, again, this is for day traders. Um, that's still not, that's fairly tame in terms of day trading, 
volume for basically an entire year. So yeah, that's pretty good. 600 closed trades. And um, we are going to look at the performance summary. And then I want to show you something. And um, we did have a max drawdown of 52%. Uh, but if you look at what we made, 284%, you know, that max drawdown's not too bad. But you can see we had this huge carve out right here, which is likely where that drawdown occurred. And really, 52% on a $1,000 uh, initial investment, $1,390. Now, you can imagine what would happen if you were to add contracts or, you know, let's say uh, for every $500 you add a contract or every $1,000 you add a contract. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. We're going to be doing a lot more back tests just to really show you how well our indicator works and, um, you know, how much love and how much testing and um, all that stuff that we've put into this. But uh, let's stick to the program here with the long only back test. Um, one thing that stands out is you can see the equity curve is fantastic. You know, we got our 284 uh, percent, but the percent profitable is hovering a little under one third of the trades won. Uh, meaning the winning rate of each trade. And you're probably thinking, well, how the heck um, is that possible? And if you watch my videos, subscribe to, uh, to these videos, um, you can see that these losers generally are dwarfed by the winners. So you can have a large string of losers, but then you're gonna get a large winner. And if we just kind of scroll down, you can just keep seeing examples of that. Let's actually get all the way down here a little bit. And um, you can see, Here's another example here. You know, you can see your string of losers, but then you get your winners and, um, you know, they tend to be outsized. And even if they're not, sometimes you'll just go back and forth. Sometimes you will get bigger losers than winners. Uh, but at the end of the day, um, you're, you know, winning 70 here and 67 here and then maybe losing seven or 20. Uh, what that's doing is just adding up over time to get this percentage uh, win value. Now, what you can see here with this back test is that we did start out with $1,000, like I showed you here, and we had a little bit of a drawdown. Um, we actually did take a drawdown of, it looks like, uh, $640. So it would have been nice to, um, you know, kind of pad that account instead of 1000 with maybe two, three, four, five thousand. 5000 And a lot of you traders do anyway. But the worst case scenario here is your broker would have said, hey, you know, cough up another $600, add it to your account, and we're good to go, whatever, right? Um, and then, you know, you would have just, traded right out of that red. So um, let's go ahead and look at another time frame here for this year. Let's look at the one minute. Let's see how we did there. Let's see if there's any difference. Okay, a lot more erratic. You can see the drawdowns a little, um, a little more extreme, maybe by like $100. Um, but you can see just lots of choppiness because we're taking more trades. You can see that drawdown, um, you know, kind of around the same. You can see there's two big divots instead of the one that we saw in the five minute chart. I want to just regenerate that. And we had that really, so you can see time frame trading matters. Uh, you know, what instrument you're trading on, what time frame, and then what strategy you're using. HappyTrader.io takes care of the strategy and, you know, setting alerts and stuff like that. All you have to do is add the indicator and I can just show you what that looks like. You know, you don't see anything here at all. We can hide the strategy to see the chart plain Jane. And then, um, of course, if you add um, the Illumitrend indicator, you can see the buy and sell signals. You can see whether it is a um, uptrend or a downtrend. And none of this is based on lagging um, stuff. This is forward looking. So this is predicting kind of what's going to happen. So let's go ahead and pull this back up. And we're going to enable our strategy again. And you can see that the one minute chart produced, let's just generate that one more time. 126%, which beats the market. Now, the problem here is, you know, we have about the same profit, you know, percentage, but we had a lot more trades, right? So unless you're able to sit there all day long and trade these signals, uh, you're going to get a lot more signals to trade, but it's, it's probably going to drive you a little bit nuts having to trade all these signals. And then especially if you look at the performance summary, I mean, you're still only winning slightly under one out of three trades, but the ones that you win are significantly larger to cover the spread. Um, of the ones that you are losing. All right, and now we're going to look at the three minute chart using our deep back testing, same exact thing. And you can see, let's just go to the 21st and make sure it, it regenerates. Okay, yeah, we'll generate the 21st. And then we're going to go to the 22nd. Make sure we have the most up to date data. And you can see that that. 
that drill down is a little bit less severe. You still have kind of like a, a bunch of ridges here. So this time frame stuff really does matter. And let's go out to the 15 minute chart. So now as we go out further in time, we're gonna see that there's less trades, 206 trades for the entire year. However, you did have a much larger drawdown on the 15 minute chart. Now, with that being said, all you would have had to have done, again, you can see the drawdown's not crazy. It is crazy if you're talking about being from here to down here, but you're still ultimately in the green and you know, you're know you gonna get chopped up. I mean, that's part of the trading game. Um, what you wanna do is keep your head above water. So worst case scenario here is we would have had a deposit, you know, 760 bucks. And again, this back test is only with $1,000. Most traders are already gonna have that margin in there. So you're gonna take a little bit of a drawdown, right? That's part of the game yeah, um, in stocks and futures and, and especially with derivatives like futures, uh, options, stuff like that. You are going to take drawdowns. Uh, there's no free lunch on Wall Street. I don't know if you ever heard that before, um, but that's something that is said. Now, with that all being said, uh, we did finish out and, you know, up to year to date anyway, with 180 percent as opposed to, again, that 7 to 11 percent, that really slow compounding that takes 20, 30, 40, whatever amount of years in your 401k. Right. So um, there's that. Now, let's go out even further to the 30 minute chart. Let's see what happens there. And you can see, again, this one got a little squirrely. Right. So let's uh, let's see what we kind of draw. We only drew down three hundred and forty two dollars. But you can see that the you know, the bread and butter of these types of strategies using Happy Trader really across all tickers. And you can tell is that we've optimized Happy Trader for the five minute interval. Now, you can look at other intervals and you can see, hey, yeah, we drew down, what, 300 bucks. Um, and we only had 94 trades. That's, I mean, that's easy peasy over the course of a year. That's only a couple trades, you know, a week, right? But, you know, drawing down 122%, you have to think about kind of what that's going to do to you psychologically speaking. And that's really, really important, right? So um, you just have to keep that in mind that if you're, here's the trade off. If you want to make a high percentage and you want to beat the market, you want to, you know, 8x, 10x, whatever the market you're going to have to take some acceptance of some sort of downside. Now, in this case, it's a max drawdown, very choppy weather, so to speak. And, um, you know, on the plus side, there's less trades and you still made 97%. And we're going to further demonstrate that. Um, well, we'll see what happens if we go out to the 45 minute. Let's see if it's the same. Yeah, about the same, right? So Let's go back out to the um, back in to the five minute chart, which is what we designed Happy Trader to be optimized for. And you can see that that clearly is where we did our testing. Um, so what I like to recommend is, hey, start on the five minute chart. But if you're a more experienced trader and you don't have a problem drawing down, you know, 300, 400, what was the drawdown here? This only drew down $160, but you made 88%. If you're okay with those drawdowns and you just want less trades, hey, knock yourself out, you know, but you're going to still run into this issue of one out of three trades to get to this 88, you know, that's your win rate. You're going to lose a lot of trades and you can see that illustrated here. But the thing is, again, you're winning trades at the end of the day or at the end of the year, I should say, are going to just outnumber and just dwarf those losing trades as you can see right and when you get on a, a hot streak with these winners and you keep getting uptrends um, you might get chopped up like on this string right here but you will eventually come out ahead with a trade like that um, so that's really the premise here so we're going to hop back to the five minute chart and just pull that back up and you can just see um, that that's clearly optimized and we had this drawdown but yeah, you would need just a little bit more than $1,000 in there. Worst case scenario, you get margin called for 700 bucks, right? Um, you made 284%. And that's what, you know, some people make in like 10 years of trading. So um, one other key note about that is, um, even though this is one-tenth the size contract, the micro E-mini S&P 500 futures, uh, the full size is called the ES, if you're not already aware. If you are, um, you already know. That's a way larger contract. Um, even trading one tenth the size, you're still moving a lot of notional value. And that's where you get these higher percentages. 
compared to trading like, you know, shares of stock that, you know, your employer might be putting into your 401k, right? So it's just a, it's a little bit different um, when you're doing something like day trading, um, 600 trades, you know, you're going to get paid for your work essentially. And then if you want to do less work, like out on the 45 minute chart, like we talked about, just expect there to be a lot longer of a drawdown because you're only going to have to make 63 trades a year to be able to make 88%, which still is about like eight times the market, right? So um, that's how that kind of goes. And I wanted to go over that. Let's go over some um, time frames here since we're on the MES. Let's do a 10-year back test. This will be fun. And um, we will do um, 2022. And we'll just do January 1st. So we'll do January 1st, 20, I'm sorry, we will do 2013, January 1st, 2013, all the way up to current date. So let's go ahead and look at the 45 minute chart there. Hey, not too bad, 351%. Could you have maybe made this same percentage without doing any of this trading over 10 years? Yeah, probably. So let's go back down to the five minute chart and see what we would have done there. And you can see another solid 261%. Um, but you can see that this is really more of a day trading or let's call it a day or a swing trading protocol. If you're holding for 10 years, there's stocks that you can certainly get into. A mixed basket of stocks will be great for that because as you can see, 673 closed trades um, in, you know, like basically a decade, right? But you still took that horrible drawdown of 76%. And then of course we had things like the COVID crash and all that, you know, crazy stuff to contend with. So that's the whole point there. Let's go back to 2023 and look at our back test for our year to date. And you can just see that if we look at the actual trades, really easy to follow. You're just jumping in on these uptrends and you're gonna get to set these alerts right here. Buy signal AI, sell signal AI. And then you can also set alerts for the um, sentiment AI, um, you know, trading alerts. You can set alerts for the buy signals, the sell signals, the Illuma trend, which is your green. Now, if we take this away, you really have no clue other than kind of after the market goes up, what's gonna happen. And the difference with Happy Trader is that you're gonna get a heads up well before you know, this entire move has transpired, right? And um, another cool thing about Happy Trader is that when you get these buy signals and then you get an uptrend signal that's very close to that buy signal, as I've mentioned in some other videos, that's gonna demonstrate amplitude of the market in most cases. So that's gonna be taking all of our data points and it's saying, hey, we have a potential buy signal here, which means that, you know, this looks like a potential trend reversal we're going to start painting that green because we're seeing an uptrend and we're seeing, you know, we're getting this right on the beginning of this, right? So even if this gets invalidated and then it comes back and we get another buy and then we get an uptrend signal, well, hey, that's really close to this initial buy signal. Maybe there's some heavy buying coming in that's making both sets of our data points correlate in addition with the, you know, Illuma trend right there. And if we just pull this right back up, we will go ahead and re-enable the strategy. And you can see that um, this is optimized for multiple tickers. We're actually just gonna show you a couple more tickers. Let's do the micro NASDAQ, one-tenth the size. Let's just pull that up real quick. We'll generate the report there. See how we did the NASDAQ's far more volatile and it does reflect. Now you still have about that same one out of three uh, win rate percentage, you know, but you have a much higher year today. You have a low drawdown, um, which is surprising, but you do take that deep cavernous drawdown of 95% uh, from the top, right? Um, and, you know, that's a, a really big drawdown, right? 621 closed trades for 431%. That's a fair trade-off. And then you can see that the trade-off of the large trades versus the small losers um if we go down just a little bit here um you know you can see just you know that's very clearly illustrated otherwise we wouldn't be able to um you know make those kind of gains um so that's going to do it for mnq uh, mes you know if you want to trade full-size contracts you can get into that um, we have a couple other videos just hit the like and subscribe button we do videos like this all the time and we are going to go ahead and end this video for today it is the day um, before Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. 
Um, have a safe and happy holiday. And if, I don't know if you can tell by my voice, but I do have a cold. Um, make sure to, you know, be aware that the cold is out there this year and um, make sure to uh, keep yourself safe and your family safe and enjoy some good turkey. Again, this is Ryan from Happy Trader, CEO, Head Quant, Happy Trading, signing out.